it's snowing. Look at that. It's snowing, it's freezing and I need to feel like a human being again because this lockdown and well and after giving birth it's just everything is just a routine you're just at home you know the only place I go is at the you know supermarket to get some groceries so I'm just home just wearing sweatpants and and that doesn't really give you the motivation to dress up or even shave or put an effort to look a bit cute at home well I'm still trying to you know be clean get shower and do all that I'm not that nasty if you think like that but all I'm saying is you know stay at home is not really helping to feel good and feel a bit confident and feel a bit sexy you know so today I'm gonna make some effort to feel a bit nice you know so I'm gonna shave because I haven't shaved since I gave birth well because sorry my priorities are different now I have a baby to take care of so that is not that important and um, I'm gonna exfoliate my face I'm gonna pluck my eyebrows and also I want to dye my hair because um, it's been a long time and I can see the roots and I can't see the color anymore so eyebrows face mask shave done my hair so yeah keep on watching I would do all that if this girl let me do it. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And one more thing that actually helps me feel a bit better is when the house is tidy. You know, I I, I hate to see mess. It just gives me mess gives gives me anxiety seriously. So the house I'm trying to keep it as I'm trying to clean as I go because if I leave everything like that and then at the end you have a huge mess to clean up it's, it's just time wasting so I'm trying to do little little things every day to you know save myself from spending too much time cleaning a huge huge mess so yeah so I just have her here with me. She's sitting on her chair. She's here with me. Otherwise I won't manage to do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. So I've got my little tweezer. So So what I do, I remove the hair here and here here and here so I'm just following my natural line alright I think I'm done with my eyebrows so now I'm gonna exfoliate my skin and I'm gonna use my solution my peeling solution by the ordinary of course right so first before I apply that 
I'm gonna wash my face because you need a clean face for that. I'm just using my hot cloth cleanser. Here we go again. my attention so when she doesn't get it she starts to cry so you part dry your face make sure it's completely completely dry looks like blood so you apply that with your fingers you avoid the eye area and you avoid the neck as well and you leave it on for 10 minutes so I have to check the time now so if you're using it for the first time just part test it first on your wrist before applying that so I get a little bit of a burning sensation where I pluck my eyebrows so I need to be careful not to apply it there actually. Now I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes. Let me get my phone and time myself. So in the meantime I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to dye my hair. So that's what I'm gonna use frosted chocolate um, color is with no ammonia I don't know if that, that's what I used to use when I was pregnant that's my life right now so you know so it's the first time I'm gonna dye my hair by myself usually my husband will help but I should do it myself this time and I put like a an old top so I don't get the other one messy so I mix my I guess the hair dye I have to check it for 30 seconds now and now I have to remove as well the that mask I apply my um, hair dye now I'm just gonna put some Vaseline on my around the edges of the hairline so I don't get any color on my skin so on my ear put a lot I don't want anything. I think she wants to sleep. So. Then at the back of my neck, I've got like an old towel that I'm gonna put around my. Neck. I kind of did the, you know, the, the roots. So now I just need to apply the product for the rest of the hair. everywhere my god look at this patch oh shit I need to make that go a 
this one goes so yeah put the product everywhere and i have to wait for 30 minutes so in the meantime while waiting i'm gonna shave so yeah we're doing everything at the same time so we can save some time i'm gonna use um these nail nail cream that's what i normally use and for the bikini line um, i use my uh, razor and and yeah when i was pregnant and i used that i got burned my skin was so sensitive so it got burned but other than that i'm happy with it it doesn't really you know it doesn't give me any rush or it doesn't burn me or anything like this so this is what i normally use so that's what i'm gonna use now look at this that's from the hair dye oh god i should have applied vaseline all over my face you know anyway so i'm just waiting for the cream on my lips to um i'm just waiting because you have to wait for about five minutes for it to work so i'm just waiting for it to work <laughs> and then i'm gonna pop in the shower remove the cream and also wash my hair so i'm gonna see you with new hair you're gonna see me with my new hair so see you in a bit so that's the hair so i've done I had a shower that's my hair it's okay I need to change her now then I'm gonna feed her uh, I'm gonna apply some moisturizer so I'm just gonna use that I'm gonna skip my night skincare routine because because um, the exfoliator has some strong ingredients I'm gonna moisturize my body as well that's something that I, I don't do much anymore I used to be better in that when I was pregnant so I'm just gonna use that I've got some a few stretch marks on my tummy yes I got them the last week of my pregnancy I didn't have up until the last week of my pregnancy the last two weeks and I'm also going to add this as well, that's shea butter that my husband brought from Ghana. Yeah, let me quickly change this girl. I'm going to dry my hair and show you how it is. So that's my hair. Not bad for my first time of dyeing my hair. Anyway, I put my creams, I've done everything that I had to do. I'm starving, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. And I'll see you tomorrow. I wanna show you the final look, makeup, nice styling, you know, nice clothes and all that. So, see you tomorrow. This baby crying again, bye. This girl is a month today. Can you believe it? It's been already a month since I gave birth to this girl and it's still snowing. I think I've been to the UK for like seven years. It's the first time that, well obviously it's not before but not as much and yeah. So now I've, yeah just just wearing this and I just want to do a quick makeup and fix my hair a little bit and that's it so I'm, I'm a month postpartum belly has gone down a lot just I still feel sore in that area 
and I want to start exercising but it's too soon for that so in this case I wake again and of course she's gonna start crying my cry baby and these are my go-to products to when I do my makeup my everyday makeup just my BB cream my mascara concealer a bit of um, eyeshadow it's just a, a neutral color and some bronzer so yeah if you want to see my makeup routine in detail I've got a video that I'm gonna link up there so you can have a look on how I do my quick everyday makeup so this girl wouldn't stop crying so I had to put her in, in a sling you okay now yeah so yeah it took me like an hour to to, to make my makeup to do my makeup that will usually take me five to ten minutes uh, that's mother life for you so yeah I like the color of the hair remember I dyed it yesterday so I've done my makeup ready for the day I kind of miss my long hair now so yeah that was kind of the video for today and um, there's more videos to come when I get time to film them because it's just nearly impossible it's, it's one o'clock one something and I see having having a had a breakfast or even a cup of coffee or something it's just so difficult our routine now is not great uh, but I'm hoping that it's gonna it's going to improve that's these are some of the things I do to start feeling normal again so yeah and I hope I gave you some ideas on you know how to to yourself to start feeling a bit normal because it's nice to being a mother doesn't mean that doesn't mean you have to let yourself go we still need to look after ourselves put some makeup on put some nice clothes and all that so we always need to look after ourselves because if we don't look after ourselves and we let ourselves go and then we start feeling miserable and all these kind of things then it's gonna affect all the people around us our baby our husband and, and all that so that that's why I did this video just to show you even though I'm struggling now because of the baby yeah, I still need to find some time for myself to, you know, kind of help me start feeling normal again. And yeah, it's already difficult as it is with this lockdown, and you know. I do not want this video to be a I just wanted it to be a positive video so forget about me crying yeah it's just difficult as it is with this lockdown we are in houses life becomes so monotonous you know every single day you do the same things and and all that so switching up things a little bit you know doing your hair you know 
do your makeup it just adds a bit of excitement in your day things are hard now and I was expecting my mom to come from Cyprus as well which I don't think is gonna happen anytime soon it's just difficult she has to quarantine for 14 days after going back to Cyprus and there's no there's no point for her coming in the first place she's gonna come for a week and then quarantine for another 14 days what's the point of that so and she's not gonna quarantine in her house she has to quarantine in a hotel or something which is that's not possible but anyway i hope i i gave you some ideas on if if you're a mother now and you're staying home and you're doing everything you can for your kids please i beg you do not forget yourself we have to take care of we have to look after ourselves as well take care of yourself we still need to look cute we still need to look all that we, we still need to be put together we can't just just be pooping like crazy which is good so so yeah as i was saying we need, still need to look after ourselves you can't let yourself go and look you know miserable and all that we need to try we are trying hard enough for our kid you know what's the harm in trying a little bit for ourselves it's good because it, it helps you feel a bit confident feel a bit different and yeah things will be better do not forget it hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye for now let me go grab some breakfast and coffee because i'm starving so see ya say bye say bye bye